as we get closer and closer to the NASCAR 2020 season, we get to start talking about it more. But before that, I want to say Saturday. Saturday is going to be the day when you get to see all my 2020 predictions on the whole schedule. Drivers, we're going to talk about drivers, schedules. Um, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to give some predictions, season predictions of big races, playoffs, champions. It'll be fun. So get ready for that Saturday. I don't know when on Saturday, but just get ready for that. It's definitely happening Saturday. So just remember that in the back of your head. Saturday, full season preview. But right now we're doing some paint schemes. We're going to rate some paint schemes. So look at some cars. First one I have pulled up, we're going to get right into it. Austin Dillon's Bass Pro car. I'm telling you, man, they're getting closer and closer to an all-black three. They've done it with Dow, and now they're doing it with Bass Pro Shops. That's a dark car. It looks like it's all black on the top, and you got some gray at the bottom, the orange stripe. Um, you see, I like it, but the boxed-in three just looks weird. Like, just the box around it, you know, with the orange and the gray. If it was just a regular stripe... I think I'd give it like an 8.2, but with the stripe, the, the box around it, it just looks weird to me. So I'm gonna say a 7.7 .7 on that one, but um, next one, uh, okay. Jimmy Johnson, it's a similar scheme to last year, especially with the hood. The hood is identical, but around the car, it's much different. Uh, you can definitely see that with um, just the side itself, the side in the middle used to be just black with a little bit of color, the pink and purple, but now it's like a, almost like those, when you get to the, the Home Depot or something and they have all those paint sample colors, it's like looking at that with the pinks and the purples going down the side and then the back is also different. I just skipped a picture. And that's a little bit of a different pattern. You got a huge Ally logo on the back with the giant A. Um. It's similar to last year's. I think it's better than last year's. Last year's was a, it was okay. This one, it's, it's all right. I still like the neon numbers, but I'm going to give it an 8.3. I think it's an 8.3 car, just going to be honest. Um, better than last year's, but, you know, they could have done better. Moving on to the next one. This next one is Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Car. This is... I don't know how I feel about this car because it really reminds me of his 2017 car. But instead of the 2017, they had a really unique paint scheme. But this one is very similar to his last two years when it comes to the two diagonal stripes down the middle. Um, and it's a black car with a light green. Whereas in the past, they've done that dark green and then the black stripes in the middle. And the white numbers just seems weird to me. Uh, they got a lot, nice little unique at the bottom for the on the side of the cars you know it's got like a little zigzag i don't know what to call it but um there, there are better paint schemes that he has this year we'll just say it that way uh we're gonna rate this one we're gonna give it we're gonna give it an 80 flat 80 up next is martin truex jr he got an update to his paint scheme last year he had a different one this year he's got a new one for the bass pro car it's different for sure. You can definitely see the sides of the car are different. The back of the car, uh, there's. it seems like there's a bit more orange if I'm thinking about the same car from last year, uh, especially on the sides. There's that big block of orange on the sides of the car. Uh, the transition into the black back half of the car is definitely different. Uh, you got black numbers this year. Definitely a different scheme. You can definitely tell it's different, um, but I like it personally. I think it's all right. Um, it'll be interesting to see how it looks on the track because some of these like paintings and stuff when they post them it's it looks much different than it actually looks on the track as I said the transition from orange to black there's more orange so yeah <sighs> this one's tough I, I want to see it on the track but right now I'm going to give it an 8-0 8-0 I haven't given anything over I don't even remember what I gave the highest I think it was an 8-3 as of now so come on Come on, Pansy. This one, this one I like. This up, this next one I do like. It's Christopher Bell's car. He's got a new car this year. They got a new sponsor, Ream. But I like this car, to be honest, you know? It's a solid-looking car. It's like his Xfinity car in a sense, but it's on the cup car now, a different number. 
the front you got the majority black or you got the black engine hood with the giant ream logo on the hood and then it's got some red on the bottom uh, side north near the wheels and you got the red stripe going up then you got some black and red white all in there you got the red number uh, clashing with the black stripe and the white sides and then there's the white top red numbers as I said and then it goes back to the black in the back of the car and then it continue it continues the red stripe and the little bit of white throughout the back of the car which I like this is the best one that we've seen so far I like it a lot I'm not gonna lie I like the look of it um, we'll give it an 8.8 8.8 I feel like that's a fair ranking. William Byron's Hertz car. They had this one Hertz car a couple years ago that was really, really nice. I don't think they ever used it or they used it like once. It's been downhill since then. They could do better. This one's just so plain. Like, it's just, it looks like a test car. It looks like one of those cars you take out on test drive, like or like the test runs that they do. Like, it's just all yellow and you, then you got like a, what wants to be two black stripes in the middle is only one back black stripe. I can't tell what's going on. They could have done better with this one. This one's gonna get a six, a six, seven. Like they, they come on, Hendrick, you're better than that. They could have done better. Larson's Advent Health Car. There's a lot going on here. I don't know how I feel about this one. There's a lot of different colors and they're clashing in a lot of different ways. Um, I don't like it. Um, like, I like that you're trying to use unique colors, but you're using like four at once. I like the clash on the bottom, bottom half of the car, the way it's like designed, the way it's like waving and stuff. But then you look at it from the top and it just looks weird. The like navy-ish not even a navy it's just like a blue into like that greenish it's like the bottom half when you're looking at it from the side the bottom half is like an eight five but then you look at it from the top and it's like a five so whatever's in between that like a seven something like that yeah we'll, we'll just give it a flat seven uh, up next is ross chastain's car it's basically the same thing except on the bottom they got a watermelon pattern for him the watermelon makes it better, 7-1. Bowman, same Exalta cars last year. First time I saw this, I was not too hot on it. It just seems so plain and simple. But the more, you, the more and more you look in at the design, it's got some more detail than you'd think. You got the yellow, the orange, and the red, obviously, in the middle. You can see that, but if you look closely, I got some blue outlines here and some white outlines, and I like that. It's, it's an interesting look, for sure. And then they got that blue stripe even on the above the driver, the door above the door and that kind of stuff or above the window net. So that's pretty interesting. Um, you know, I'd like to see something different, but it's not that bad. An 8-1. Or no, an 8. It's an 8. Byron's Exalta car. I've always loved this one. We're talking about the traditional one. We'll get to the other one later. It's, a, it's kind of similar to Gordon's 2014 one. In fact, it is Gordon's 2014 one. It might... Instead of black, it's like a dark navy. What's the difference? But I like this car. I've always liked this car. I'm going to give it a 9-0. Uh, it's probably my Gordon sentiment. Now this one, this is the car you're going to see right behind me right here. It's the same thing. It's 2018 and 2019. I'd like to see them make a change, to be honest. But it's a solid-looking car. But man, they missed an opportunity. Last year at Las Vegas, they ran, instead of the white, it was the yellow. That was a 10 out of 10 car. Um, so with that, the yellow, it's like a 9.5. But with the white, it's like an 8.5, you know? It's like it's... For real, though, I would rate it probably an 8.3 with the white. With the yellow, I'd do it at 9.5. But 8.3 is the real ranking for this. Um, I'd like to see something different, but it's not too bad. I like the unique design, how it kind of goes from the blue to the white to the blue, but I would like to see that white be yellow. That'd be cool. Next, we have Keselowski's Dent Wizard. It's the same as Keselowski's Dent Wizard. Those Penske paint schemes are repetitive. You know, speaking of repetitive stuff, but this one gets a 7.5. I don't need to explain that anymore. Chris Busher's car, I, his Fastnail car, 
and a Sunny D. They got some good paint schemes there. But we're going to do with the Fast Nail one first. I like this. I like the black pattern. If you zoom in, you can see little, like, hexagons or something. And then you got the blue, white, black stripes at the bottom. This is a really nice looking car. I can't wait to see it on the track, but we're going to give this one like a 9-2. This is a really nice looking car. I like that one. Sunny D, always a nice car. The way it just flows, it looks like a glass of orange juice is getting poured down the car. You got some orange, you got some dots, you got some stripes, you got everything in this car. I like it. It's an orange juice car. We're going to give it a... I'm looking at... Oh, no. <laughs> I just realized something about this picture. On top of the door, it says Chris Busher, but on the back of the car, it still says Stenhouse Jr. No! What are you doing, Jack? Good grief. You had one job. <laughs> this car gets a nine. <laughs> God. That's a big oof. Kurt Busch's car is the same as last year. It looked really good on track last year. Like looking at it, it's just like, oh, it's another mass, mo a monster car. But it looks really good on the track, actually, especially at the night races. So we're going to give it an 8-7. Uh, you've seen it before. You don't need to see that much more. Harvick's Mobile 1 car, they did a little bit of an update, too. It looks very similar, but they made that flame, that gray flame, much more visible. They made it a lighter gray. And I really like that. I really like the flame. It looks like it's like a running Mustang. Huh? Huh? And it's got, like, flames shooting out its nose or something as it's going really fast. So I like that. It's, like, a unique design. Uh, they could have done more with the back of the car. And then after the flames, it's just meh. It's just, you know, it's there. But um, I like it. I like the unique flame. We're going to give this one an 8.7. The Unifirst Chase Elliott car. It's literally William Byron's car, but now it's got a 9 on it. You know, I... I don't know how I feel about this car. Those are two weird shades of green that I just don't know how I feel about. And then they got that little black corner right there, like for the sponsors, for Mountain Dew and Hooters. And I don't, that black spot just seems so random. And it's even on the back too, but you know, I'm gonna give this one like a seven four. Uh, I'm just not a fan of that paint scheme to be honest. Now we get into the Alex Bowman cars, uh, the gold ones. They're all the same. They just have a different engine hood sponsor. It's not that bad. It's unique the way they put the gold on the car. It's like a ribbon across the engine hood, and then you got a random gold spot on the back. You got it on the bottom. You got it on the splitter. It's unique, to be sure. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but... I'm feeling an 8-0. 8-0. Kurt Busch's gear wrench car, definitely different from last year. A lot more orange on the front. The back half is just black. It's just kind of cuts off after the number, other than the actual gear wrench logo. It looks like they tried to fade it out a little bit towards the door, the door handle, if there was a door handle there, and on top where the name is. It looks like they tried to fade that. They could have done that farther back in the car. They could have slowly faded it. I think that would have been really cool. But front half of the car is it's pretty nice. The back half of the car is also pretty nice. But I think they could have done better. But we're going to go with an 8.4. Ryan Newman, this Coke car. It's giving me a lot of mixed emotions. I like the back half. I really like the back half. But then the front half, it's got that little triangle on the engine hood. I don't know about that one. I get that they're, it looks like they're trying to do something with the logo because they got a little triangle logo, it looks like. But the number six just looks weird. It looks like it gets split between the black and the white, and I don't I don't like that. That's just weird. On the doors, at least, not on the top. The top looks fine. But this one's feeling a seven. Seven flat. William Byron's Exalta car, the one he's going to be running in the 500. They could have done a Kobe tribute. I've seen that all over Twitter. That would have been cool. But uh, they did this, and it reminds me of the Sun Energy 1 car Elliott won in, in 2018. Except there's no orange on the front. Uh, I need to see this on track, because this painting doesn't do it justice, I feel like. Shade of blue. It's like an Oklahoma City Thunder race car. That's literally what it is. And then they got green in the flames or like a neon yellow. The neon yellow kind of throws it off, but 
Seven six. We'll give it a seven six. Kyle Busch's Skittles dips car. I like the original Skittles better. Mm, this one gets a seven flat. This is just weird looking. Like the white and the red together just doesn't look right. And then the number 18 being red on top of the red just doesn't look right. Uh, Corey LaJoy Raging Bull car. This I miss his face car, but this one's nice too. You know, this one's nice. Um, I like it. I like how they did the little checkered pattern in the middle. You see it there. You see a little checkered pattern with the black and the blue and the under the numbers. I like that. You got the little bull. I like the bull logo. It's really unique. Back half of the car is just white. You got some unique yellow numbers with red outline on the top. Uh, blue front of the car. We'll give it an 8.6. 8.6 feels like a fair ranking on that one. Chase Elliott's Hooters car. At first, I really didn't know how I felt about this, but then I looked at the other options and I was like, okay, yeah. This was the best one out of those. But I want to see how it looks on the track, just like a lot of these paint schemes. Because in this painting, it looks all right. But then you look at the picture of the actual car, and it looks better. You know, I like it. But I think his 2018 was his best Hooters car. And uh, I can't wait to see this one on track. I think that'll do it justice. But we're going to give this one a 7.9 right now. It could very much improve, though. Um, it's a unique design compared to what they've done the last few years, though, with the white and orange. This year, they're doing a black and orange, which is something different. So I like that they're trying something different, but 7-9. Corey LaJoy's Schluter Systems, Schlu uh, something German. It looks like, at least. I don't know. I don't speak German. They got some flames. They got some black flames with the orange there. I like that. They got some blocking, like some little blocks. They got some more orange flame in the back. This is a unique car. Look at this. This is the second time it's a unique looking car. Look at this. You got the little orange blocks in the back. You got some orange flames, some black flames with the orange outlines. It's a unique car. And even the back, the back's looking nice too. You got all the flames engulfing around the black at the back of the car. That's a 9-4 car right there. Eric Jones' DeWalt car. They finally did something different, which I'm happy for. But, you know, I like it. It looks like a toolbox wrapped around a car. And that's what it's supposed to be. So, 8-6. I like the black in the middle. It's like sandwiched in between the yellows. Solid car. Blaney's Advanced Auto Parts. We talked about that in the offseason. It's literally Logano's car inverted. 7-5. Ty Dillon. With the new Geico car, so like a wavy, more of a wavy blue, white, green. On the sides of the car, it's more wavy. I like that. I like that they did something different. It's unique. I like it. It's going to get an 8.4 from me. I like it. Joey Gase is number 51, EFX Corp. It's a unique car for sure. But it's kind of random with the colors. You got the front half with some ocean sea blue or something. And then on the back, and it's got the white engine hood. And then it goes gray. And then it goes into black and like monster energy green. That's just random. It's like... But I do like how they kind of transition the monster energy green into the blue. That's unique for sure. But it's unique, I'll tell you that. We're going to give it a... 8-2. That seems fair, but that's it. Wow, that went longer than I expected. But um, yeah, hopefully the edited version is shorter than this 22 minutes that I've filmed. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share with all your other NASCAR friend, fans, people, and know that Saturday, preview time, Clash Sunday.